Welcome back, I'm back now. Welcome back to episode number 70 of our Legendary Mortal Empires Vampire Ghost campaign. Cup of coffee episode, boys. My third attempt at starting this episode. Hopefully this one's fine. First attempt... I screwed up the intro. Second attempt... OBS screwed up. <laughs> so this is my third attempt. Right, let's go. Ah, so I just got home from work about 10 minutes ago. If you hear some clicky clicks in the background, it's because the heat has just turned on. Middle of winter here, lads. It's freezing. Um, I think I figured out the issue, or the audio issue from the last, maybe not last episode, the one before that. For some reason, my computer had set itself to 100% audio input, which is not what I usually run. I usually run at 80%, and then I boost it externally with the mixer and stuff. For whatever reason, the, the thing decided that 100% was the better option. It was wrong, but it decided it for itself. So far, my recording seems to be running just fine. That's good, that's good. I, I turned on OBS and it was running at like 13 frames. I'm like, eh? 13 frames? That's low? Even for this game, that's low. Oh, how are we going to do this? I, I freaking, I can't kill that army. Oh, man, can I? Admiral of the fleet. I'm going to need some power. Where do I get the power from? It's not going to be enough. It's not going to be enough, I don't think. I can help him though, right? With Burks? No, I can't. He's too far away. He's all the way down here. He's going to fight these guys. Which, that's an easy enough win for us. Oh, you're dead, mate. You are freaking dead. you like pushing in my territory and you think I'm going to let you away with that? You've just got swordsman, buddy. I don't know what you've unleashed upon the world. Now, I still need to find where Chaos are. We know, well, the, the war herd of Chaos are up north with us, but we need to know where actual Chaos is. Because they already killed off two of their armies, right? But we need to know where the other ones are. We need to know. We need to know. I'm so freaking hungry too, man. I need to have some dinner. I don't know what I'm going to have for dinner, mate. Oh, it's horrible. There's a tree line now, way. So you're deploying over there. Okay, well, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Is this, is this the game you want to play, is it? Mortars versus me. Right, fair. I'm pretty confident both my range and infantry destroy this. Uh, guard mode, you guys can get guard as well. What's he got in the way of flies and stuff? Nothing. Okay. Hmm, that's a long way to run. So it's that. Is this vanguardable? No. Sneak him up into that forest. Oh, there's some water gone. That's some horror <laughs> Jesus. Well, they're on the side as well. We're gonna get side shots on them. Go faster, shoot faster. These doggos are still not hidden. They don't really want to carry tilt that thing. Don't really want to run them in there because they'll probably get killed, but mm, if they don't turn they won't. Are you just gonna Run your infantry at me? Okay. Uh, okay. Drive by dogging. Let's go. Let's go. Get away from there. There's lots of guns. Good job, doggies. Don't run at those guys though, because those are anti large. Right, we'll use the tree as cover. Gonna shoot us very well through the tree. This guy needs to get out of there though. You shoot him, he's obviously not in the tree cover, he's up in the air. Is that just pistol ears? To get on top of those guns, ideally. Who wins this fight? There's archers there as well. 
I can catch that, right? We're fast. Risky, risky, risk, too risky. Too risky, slide, too risky, too risky. Too risky, too risky. That's good, that's good. Hello, Lord. Sure, sure, sure. Just run straight into the entourage, that's a good idea. Uh, I'm going to bring this dude out that way to deal with them. That's about all we need to do, really, at that stage. They're going to come chase me, are they? No, I can't deal with that many. I mean, I probably can. I'll probably just run at them, but I'm trying to avoid losses here if we can. Fine. What are you doing over there, mate? Friggin' lords are living with my army. This is just annoying me now. It's over that way, get them onto them. I think all this stuff's perfectly fine, right? Yeah, it is. Smashing. Smashing. You do catch him, right? You're a 90 speed unit, alright? 95 speed. Plus you should get the charge bonus. Yeah, caught him. Nice, nice. Not of course a massive amount of damage out of those, being just dogs, but... Should be enough. I'd say they got well and truly uh, roasted. Nice lads. Well, now I can try and use these to clean up. Go doggies. This is where doggies get their value. Should get out of here with 150 kills or something like that, hopefully. Alright, wipe that unit. Wipe that unit. Wipe that unit. Oh, no, not quite. Too hasty, master. Whatever that dude's name was. Maybe kills the end up on. 169, yeah, nice. Nice, nice, nice. It's the true value of a dog unit right there, mate. It's true value. It's, why it's always handy to have one. You don't have to have one, of course. Like, obviously, they're not the highest unit you know, or anything like that, but like chasing down runners and stuff like that, they're so good. Dogs, gobos, you know, wolf riders, that type of thing. Anything fast, obviously. And when they're obviously broken like that, they don't attack you, so it doesn't have to be a high damage unit or anything like that. You know, it doesn't have to have high survivability or anything like that. You just throw them in, 169 kills, mate. Nice. So I think, like, Norsk is really good, eh? Because basically all the units are fast. All the monstrous stuff, anyway, their infantry's not fast, right? The berserkers or whatever, they're fast, but. Look, the Marauder front line's not fast, it's slow as. With all their hounds and their um, werewolves and all that type of thing, they're fast. Freaking game with werewolves, man. You could only dream of a game like this when you were a kid, right? Like you, I mean, you couldn't even think of something this amazing with all the fantasy stuff in it. Right, are you going to pee off now? Because I kind of need this army for other purposes. The, the game that I played like a heap when I was younger, Sword of Aragon. Right, I was like I don't know, seven, eight, or something like that when I played it. I did not obviously know the significance of Sword of Aragon. Obviously, Lord of the Rings, blah blah. Right, I didn't know that. Oh, what do I do? I kill that right, so that's less damage that I take for this army, and then deal with him after, rather than letting him get another turn of region in, because he doesn't matter obviously because he's fully healthed. Yes. Yeah, I played Sword of Aragon. <laughs> So much. I didn't know it was called Sword of Aragon. I thought it was called Sword of Argon. Right? For the longest time. Until obviously Lord of the Rings came out. I was like, hang on. 
right? I played that game so much, and it was obviously a fantasy game. Elves, dwarves, trolls. Uh, there's wizards and priests and stuff like that. They just used to have lots of magic and stuff. The game was so good. It's, I mean, looking at it now, you can't even play it anymore. It's, that's, that's how crap it was. But looking at it now, it was that was so crap, but it was so good. Right? That's where my love affair of like fantasy stuff started, I reckon. Like, way back there playing that. It was such a good game. Such a good game. The graphics were terrible, as you can imagine. But I'm talking 30 years ago here, yeah, boys. 30 years, yeah. Yeah. Such a good game. Such a good... I played that game so many times. And essentially it was the same game, because the map wasn't ginormous or anything. I, I couldn't even tell you the names of the places or anything in the map itself. Um, but yeah, it was such a good game. Such a good game. And I play, like I say, I played it so many different times. Always just try to do, you know, just try to do a little bit better each time, all that type of stuff. It's so good. Anyway, like I broke my ankle when I was younger playing rugby. Um, and I was off school for like a month or whatever. And that's literally all I did was play that game <laughs> every day. Because they had to get up early, of course. I must have been like, no, I must have been like 10, because I was allowed to stay home by myself. Which, you know, in those days, 10 is fine, you know, whatever. Yeah, no, I can't have been. Standard 4, I think I was. What would you be in standard 4? Yeah, that'd be about 10. Right? That'd be about 10. That's all I did for like a month was just play that game. It was on the old Amiga 500, mate. Upgraded to a, a 1 gig. Not a 1 gig. Megabyte? It was 500 megabytes, and we've had two of those. That's 1 gig, right? Yeah. It was a 1 gig system. She was fancy. She was fancy. Back in the day. Back in the day. So good. And now it's evolved to like this, where it's like freaking not hyper realistic, but you know, realistic enough. Multiple giant fantasy armies fighting each other and stuff. Oh, so good. Kinda of lose sight of that when you like you play so much of it, right? You know. Two and a half thousand hours in Warhammer 1, and 600 hours or whatever in Warhammer 2. 3,000 hours combined, over 3,000 hours. You're like, you lose sight of that. Like, what, like, how great this game actually is, you know, and what you're actually doing and stuff within the game. It's just so awesome. Like, what you're actually doing is you're fighting two ginormous fantasy armies against each other. And that's just this side of it. That's not even taken into account, like, the, um, political side of it and all that type of stuff. Arguably not the strongest um, point within this game, but, you know, it's, it's still a, a side of it, right? So freaking good. We literally have dragons fighting giant ships that have been reanimated as, like, reanimated ships or something phoenixes and stuff that actually come back to life if they get killed and things you know they're fighting elves and freaking i don't even know what those things are dead things <laughs> dead things that have come back alive and stuff yeah man what else we got here freaking a vampire lord that actually is well was a vampire lord went down into the sea or something like that now he's reborn as like a a dude of a pirate faction that's only undead people are the freaking pirates of the Caribbean, you know? Number one, of course. Number two was kind of okay. The rest of them were just utter garbage, but whatever. You know? Giant Depp's not allowed in the new one, apparently. Whatever. It's amazing. It really is amazing. Maybe when things are going to be in another 10 years or whatever. Christ. There's going to be virtual reality. You're going to be like the. I don't know, I think you'd want to be, would you? The Lord commanding the army and stuff? Nah. And the thing is, there's, there is nothing that's like this. I'm really surprised. Like, nobody else is like... Even just like the... I guess there's other ones that do the campaign -y side of it. As well, if not better, arguably. Which is fine, because the campaign side of it's not really my thing. Right? It's just campaign, you know. Strategic decisions and stuff. I mean, it's the combination that makes it fun. But there's nothing, nothing that combines both of them. I'm really surprised nobody else has done it. 
I'm really surprised. I guess they don't think there's enough money in it or something, or it just costs too much to do it or something. I don't know. My total war's been around for a long time, right? I'm kind of waiting for this guy to be yeah, this guy to be killed. If I could not bomb myself, that'd be awesome. Because I can get rid of this Phoenix guy. It's one model, of course. Right? Get him. Yeah, I'm really surprised another company hasn't tried to, I don't know, steal their thunder or whatever. I mean, every other genre of gaming, you know, another thing comes along and usually improves on their in initial iterations, right? PUBG, Fortnite, Apex Legends, etc. And of course, there's plenty of copycats that are Garbo, but... Yeah, I guess, I don't know, other companies don't think there's enough... I can't believe this guy's still alive. He's gonna survive! Are you serious? I can't believe he's gonna survive. He's a... Oh, what a legend. What an absolute legend. That's him. That's him, mate. That's him. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, he may be able to turn around and get back to the other settlement here, you know? It's quite possible. It's quite possible. Yeah, but I'm shocked that nobody else has actually you know, tried to steal the mantle from Total War. Like, has anybody even come along and tried? I don't think they have. And if they have, there's definitely nothing I've heard of. I mean, there's other strategy games and stuff like that, of course. But most of them are, uh, like, campaign-y stuff, you know? There's no, like, real-time battle strategy and combined. I guess people just accuse them of stealing, but... Does it matter? Not really. Blizzard, arguably one of... Used to be one of, I should say. The better gaming companies, that's basically what they did. Grab ideas of other people and improve on them more. You know, use that as a base of an idea and then improve on it, right? That's what they, they did that for years and years and years. That was kind of their thing, right? See what other guys are doing and just make it better. I guess it's a money versus, you know, investment versus return type thing. I don't know. You would think the Total War games are uh, popular enough to warrant other companies trying to do them. Now, can I get back? Because I don't actually want this. Well, I mean, it's fine having the settle, but I don't actually want to keep it. No, bugger. Because they're just going to hit that and get rid of that. And this is part of what region? This one? Okay, so we need Wolf and Wolf. That one. Right, right, right. Right, Miss Emily. We're going to try and push that. Yes, we are, because it's... No, there's another army there. That's right, that's right. Look at this. Actually, how are you guys looking for rebelling and stuff? These are about to rebel. Okay. I unlocked the collector. Sorry, I have to check out what it is. <laughs> the collector. Have 25 magic weapons or pieces of magic armor. Okay. Thanks, game. No, so I need to move her back over. Still going to rebel there. I can't do anything here to stop the rebellion, though, can I? I don't think. Actually, we want vamp because it's vampire corruption that's the issue. Yes. Yes. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. She could actually get a bit there. Would that. Sh I don't know. It's going to rebel next turn anyway. Minus 14, 80. Yeah, yeah, it's going to rebel next turn. Gee, her being in that region might stop it. Maybe we had other lords with her, possibly. Minus oh, 11, no, it's still going to happen, okay. I don't know what to do. Do I stay here and just... She can't beat that army. Do I give it up and fall back to um, help it? Because he's going to get back up here and be back here in time to defend that. Do we just give up Prague? Are they going to go for help it? I don't want to lose help it. Is she doing any Prague as well? No. I mean, I want it, but I, I don't necessarily need to keep it. I can't stop that though, not with this army. And otherwise, I'm just going to throw this army away. Let's have a garrison, but it's not good enough, right? It's one, two, three, four, five guns. 
We do have walls. Uh, six, seven, eight, nine. It's nine guns. That infantry is garbage. So it's mine. Got one good infantry. Two. Well, she can't go on walls, I don't believe. So I've got two good infantry. He's got more. Ah. Uh. So you may not attack. That's the other thing. Oh, I can only afford one. Land weak. I'm gonna risk it, I think, and try and hold it. I think that's what we do, eh? That's what we do. It is a risk, but it's a risk it's probably worth taking. Why are you on the downward turn there, mate? Really, then, why are you? We have 116 in the positive and minus 50 in the negative, and that makes us go backwards, right? Ah, it leaves us at 66. Okay, yeah, that's fine. It's not fine, but it's fine. Matt, you boys, you guys are on the up. You guys are on the up. You guys are on the up. Okay. I need to get these guys on the up. I don't have enough money to do anything there anyway. Okay. Right, let's see what happens. Man, these, um, these turns are taking forever as well. Each turn is like 10 minutes, at least. Depending on the amount of battles we have. I don't know if that concerns you guys or not. It doesn't really bother me. It's just the episodes don't move on very fast. Like, I, I need to be fighting these battles, right? We've been screwed over so many times with auto-resolve. And I've said so many times that I'm not going to auto-resolve. And then I do, and you guys are like, I thought you said you weren't going to auto-resolve. I'm like, yeah, well, you know. I get impatient sometimes, you know? I get impatient. I just want things to happen. If anything, my only complaint about this game is... Where's that? Oh, that's back at that settlement. Actually, I should fight that. I can't win it, but I might be able to target down certain units. Yep. Yeah, my, my only complaint about this game, and there's actually there's two. I just thought of that after I said my only complaint. So my only complaints about this game is the load times, which is a big one, and it leads into the second one, the amount of time it takes to do a campaign. I know it's a silly complaint because, oh yeah, there's too much content? Yes, there's too much freaking content. Shouldn't take you 40 hours to do a campaign, because that's basically what it takes. If you're going for a long campaign, Mortal Empires, right? Like I said, it's, it's a weird complaint because, you know, oh, it's too much content, right? Yeah. But, how much of that is freaking load times, man? Come on, we timed that, remember? Was it like two and a half minutes or something? Two and a half, three minutes each turn? Just on load times? Yeah, that's ridiculous. Alright, what am I going to be able to kill here? Oh, if I can get a dragon down, that'd be awesome. They're going to have to kill it before the lines engage. Don't know if I'll be able to. If these guys are behind to give those dudes a hand. Right, again, this is not for victory. This is just, can we kill something? If we can get a dragon down, that'd be awesome. It's not going to work, is it? No. No, we're not doing enough damage to them. God damn. Oh, she's about half health now. Nah, he's gonna land in a second. I really should have popped that earlier. Uh, 
Okay. Ooh. Actually, no, we might get him. He's going down pretty quick. He's a running. Oh, I'm going to get this dude down too. It's a Phoenix, so he may come back. No, no, it didn't. Okay, okay, okay. He's finding the bats. He's coming back, that guy, unfortunately. Any shots on him or nah? Nah, by the looks of it. No, he's not low. Damn, man. Ah, if he couldn't have got out of there, we would have killed him. He's just floating up there in the middle of the sky. Oh, that phoenix is dead. Oh, nice. That's two phoenixes we've killed. Oh, we're gonna get him, we're gonna get him. Come on, come on, come on, die, 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 die. Kill him, kill him, kill him! Oh, Phoenix came back alive, rude. <gasps> He's gonna get out again. No! Come on, Tower. Oh, he's so low. Oh, two Phoenixes and a freaking dragon would have been ideal. That would have been worth, mate. That would have been so worth. Two Phoenixes and. Oh, actually, we got a dragon. He's dead. He did. There's two dragons. Two dragons, two phoenixes, almost a third dragon. Wow. That's actually really good. I'll take that. Almost a third phoenix too. Almost a fourth phoenix actually. I didn't see those other dragons die. To focus on that one, I guess. Wow. Good stuff, boys. Hell yeah. I know we're not going to defend the settlement or anything, but hell, I'll take that. He's in the level of that garrison, eh? King Rob. Back to a better time in Game of Thrones. Yes. I guess any time is a better time than now, because it's finished. Wow, well, I shouldn't say that, because Season 8 wasn't really a better time now, was it? No, Season 8 was garbage. I don't actually remember where this was. Dead, 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 dead! So good! Oh, he's got a. Yeah, that's one that survived on so little health. Ah, it's way down Grunberg. Grunberg? Really? Good work, Grunberg, I suppose. It's not where I thought it was, but we'll take it. Yeah, I can't back that up, unfortunately. It was a bit of a nothing fight then, really, wasn't it? Ah, oh, still fun. Still fun, boys. Well, this is the one I thought we were fighting. Yeah, well, he's going to steamroll that. That was to be expected. Sucks for him, I'm going to have a near on full health army, though. I wonder what this dude's going to do. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Don't worry about any of that. 
that stuff, are we? Some more the other end. Like, this is painful. Like, this is painful. And I have it on an SSD, so I can't even imagine what it's like when it's not on SSD. I mean, it might be a too old SSD. Is there faster SSDs, or are they all just the same nowadays? I don't know. My I've had my one for ages. I wonder if there is such a thing as a faster SSD. I wonder if that's how... Or do I just need a new computer? I, I know I need a new computer. I have need a new one for years, but... Right, what are these doors doing? Oh, there's a sick. Oh, there's a third army there. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Ah, uh, oh, artosis. Sure. Ah, oh, what do we do over there? It's annoying. All right, guys. I think that's where we're going to wrap up this episode. Hopefully, you've enjoyed it. If you did, remember to hit that like button. Really does help the channel out. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you next time. Yeah.